Hello, travel lovers. Now it's time for the Ivor Day Pack. No proof version. What is nice is the huge packing volume. Thank you, J Lol A. So he she gave me the idea that I have to make a review um, to compare the day pack against day pack proof. So starting with the day pack, in the description below you find also the link to the day pack proof version where I show the difference. Starting here is with the backpack panel. So please give me a thumb up if you like more videos of those models. The back panel has a channel system here in the back for the airflow. So it's important your moisture could leave your back and hold you dry. You have here mesh material with the foam inside you see it's very comfortable to wear and also in the harness system you see foam inside with mesh material to make it breathable. So on the neck side you have also the mesh material so it could be that it will rub off a little bit of your skin. So I don't know because it's not like Lycra, very soft. But if you wear it, I will show you it afterwards how it looks like. It's feeling really comfortable. So on the harness system you have also the sternium, sternium stripe which is flexible here with some um, bungee. So this holds your stripe every time in a good um, pressure and go not away. So it's free adjustable and I like it very much because you have to force it a little bit to move it away. So sometimes they are um, very easy to move and then it goes every to the bottom every time to the bottom side. Um, the hardware down below here is from Ivor in plastic. So I don't like it very much because I like really the metal parts but well it's Ivor. The handle is only a doubled stripe so not very comfortable to wear but you could hang up um, the bag on a plank. And what else? You have two secret bags. One secret bag is here on the on this side, right side, left side, depending from where it, which angle you, you see. This bag is, for example, for your smartphone. So, uh, unfortunately, on the other side is the laptop um, sleeve. And if you have the laptop there, you could see it could leave it here. Um, unfortunately, you have only a liner in between. So, it means that you could have contact with your smartphone. So unfortunately there is no, not really a distance or not a foam in between. Um, so have it in mind. How big the size is? In the description below I have a link for a review. Unfortunately it's in German. So you could have also a look on how big it is. So from the front it's really nice looking back because you have here like an artificial laser without grain. 
So that is important because your textile will not get dirty. It's easier to clean up and also on the top side you have here rainproof material. I like really this planks, this metal hardware parts because it's every time close to the look to the fabric and yeah it's changed a little bit the optic of this bag. So before unzip this bag I will show you how it looks like if you wear it. So you have here stripes that you could adjust it so if you like to wear it more down or if you like it a little bit more in a comfortable way and I think I'm convinced that you like this bag and on the top side you have here a zipper to get direct access but on the other hand you have here also a zipper for this bag. So here you see there is mesh material inside. The mesh material, the coated mesh material, you look to, uh, through the textile here. It's not a waterproof JJ, uh, GKK zipper, but it's okay for what we are looking to. So unfold, extend it, you gain a little bit more than five liters of volume. So if you like to go shopping after you're seeing whatever you do, if you are on the in the university, in the school or in the work and you want to go shopping, you could open it. So the zipper plug are comfortable. So it's very handy here because you could open it very easy. So you see directly you have two third opened, one third open zipper. And this is very clever because you could open the bag very wide. So you see directly that you have in the inside in a very light color. So um, this is comfortable because then you will see directly what you packed on. You find your things easy. Um, what could you pack in? I pack here my Tula system box. I will show you why. Um, because I love this bag. So it's not so sexy for the women, but um, for me it's good enough because it's black. So black because it's not getting dirty. Um, you have here a stripe, a loop to hang on. So you could um, hang the bag also on your trousers if you like. I hate it, but it's okay. Um, you have here the possibility to charge your mobile, your smartphone, put it in the bag and also a handle to carry this small bag away if you like. But I like this bag because it gives you a very good order. So you have loops here to um, store cables. You have here space, a loop for your ball pen, a zipper bag, which is the whole size. And also you have space here to store wax blocks, it's called. And also a place for your power bank. Here you could um, go through with uh, the wire and you have a zipper pocket. 
um, with, with a mesh material for, for example, money or something like that, that you could find it directly. Um, I love this bag. In the link below, you have um, the direct link to it. But this is uh, not what I want to explain you. So how big the bag is, it's um, amazing because it has a good volume, but also it's very deep, if you like. So therefore you could pack on, and that's very good for school or university, very huge books and big folders. So it doesn't matter if you are using a big folder or a small folder. If you were or use a smaller folder, then for sure you could um, pack more books inside. But you see right now here that the main compartment is huge. A lot of space to pack on and you have two pockets. The first pocket is with um, flexible mesh material in the upper part. It makes sense because it holds you every time um, the things away. Here in that case I have my ear planks, noise absorbing ear planks, also two ball pens with a zipper. Second pocket is also a rough um, mesh material. It's not so um, flexible, it's rigid. Um, but it gives you directly a very good view what you have packed in. And here you see it. Um, it's easy to find your things. So now I want to show you the rain test. If the bag is really rainproof or not, leave me a comment if you found this video helpful for you. And in an additional comment, please give me an idea what you want to see next from me. So let's jump into the rain chamber and see how it performs. Now Luigi will take a rain shower. So more or less one minute with cold water around 16 degrees. So it's not comfortable for me, but for Luigi, yes. And as you could see, here the water flows very good down to the zipper. Unfortunately, the zipper is not waterproof, but we will see how the test performs. And here on the top, you see that, well, it hinders a little bit here um, that the water goes really um, easy away. I guess the water goes into the pocket. So let's start here on the top. So you see on the stitching that um, this will be, I think, the, the problem zone. Yeah, because you could see that you are perforating the upper material here a little bit and will lose a little bit the waterproofness. So the zipper is not waterproofed as I mentioned before and let's see how it performs. And have a look, it's not really humid so it's quite oh no it's unfortunately it's absolutely not water resistant um, resistant because the water flows in and here you see also there is a mass of water inside so please get in mind that ah, it will be not wa really waterproof so let's dive into it a little bit deeper and have a look to the zone on the back panel because behind the back panel when the water flows down we have also the laptop sleeve and let's have a look tum, 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 tum. you see that this well, well quite dry and ah unfortunately not on the bottom side of your laptop so this is a paper laptop um, it's a little bit humid. 
let's dive deeper and you see also that you have a color change so this um, color change also mentioned that the water also went in and let's open a little bit the other zipper pocket so this zipper pocket is more for the money or the smartphone and also I have my put my paper smartphone in to not risk anything and it's dry so only the um, the small parts were um, done of my wet fingers so uh, let's feel it that's really dry so that is good because your smartphone will be protected so let's dig into the main compartment so first of all you see here very good um, the rain zone so where is the zone wet and where is the dry zone so let's dig into the main compartment I use the packing cubes and well let's have a look how it performed Ah, it's looking good it's looking really good but now it's getting wet so it's a little bit wet of my packing cube so yeah your trousers and documents will be humid and let's have a look you see oh there is a ton of water inside so it's not really waterproofed it's really a lot of water and um, this is a risk of your day pack it's really cool the nine uh, the rain chamber test it doesn't matter if it's not um, really waterproofed but it's important for us to know what should we do if we like this quality it's good enough because we go not through the rain because i will not destroy my hairs so please look the, to the video below because this is um, then the comparison between day pack and day pack proof from ivor let's have a look to this video see you next bye